Hey Taurus, this is I'm Jade. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. This is a January 2020 reading for Taurus. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watches are welcome. Taking a look at the energies coming in for January from a couple different oracle decks. This energy oracle. This gothic oracle. Divine animals. And the Oracle of Visions. So what came out so far? Looking pretty good. We got Happy Family. Card 4. Okay, this is a good solid foundation. Literally, happily, happy family. It's good energy, good card. The next one that came out from the Gothic Tarot is card 24. I wanted to read directly from the, this is Home is the Kingdom. It's about stability and action. Um, and it represents, uh, you know, st stability in this foundation and having a privileged position, but you might be looking for some type of new challenge. Um, and if you're feeling stuck, you have the support behind you to change your path if you choose. It is only you stopping you from moving on. So I thought that was really uh, interesting. It's coming out with the happy family, so it shows a lot of stability. You might feel be feeling a little bored and stagnant. So from the Divine Animals, this is card 41. Alright, this is companionship with the dog. Also a very nice energy, but again I wanted to read directly from the book here. I'll show you the card while I'm doing it. It says, be a firm and ethical friend. Seek loyalty and honesty in your friendships. Friendship should be supportive, not competitive. There is a difference between solitude and loneliness. Something hidden will be illuminated. We all have aspects of ourselves that we do not appreciate or like. Learn to change these things if they do not benefit us or lovingly accept them. Okay, so that's the dog. Companionship. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. And then two from the Oracle of uh, Visions. Um, this is card 21. This talks about uh, fate, luck, lady luck, taking a chance. And I, I found that interesting coming out with, you know, because this card had spoke about, you know, having the stability, having everything, but wanting to, to do something new, take a new risk, a new, new venture. Okay, so I, I feel like this is directly connected to that. And this is also, uh, this. then card two came out. All right, this is really nice. This is about acceptance, you know, being uh, in the right social groups, social circles, being with people that accept you for who you are and that you feel solidarity with. So that was really nice. And then for the overall energy for the month from the Good Tarot, card 11 came out. This is Justice. This is Libran energy. All right, so I'm going to be looking into the what's happening here for January. Just real quick, what kind of energies are coming in? This is the Wild Unknown Tarot. I'm going to get six cards for general storyline and then three for advice, okay? So, Angel Spirits. Angel Spirits. Let me see, make it clear. For Taurus. January 2020, please. What does Taurus need to know for the highest good? Okay, oh, here's the first three. Ace of Wands, Mother of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. All right, so this is, this is a, a spark, the passionate spark, the new opportunity or risk could be. Mother of Pentacles, this could be, um, this could definitely be you guys. Some of you may be parents. Okay, you may have children. Um, this is a very stable foundation, um, you know, with the happy family card and everything. And this four of pentacles, this could be holding on, holding back, holding out. Um, but it's also like, see, whenever I see this one, I see these infinite links and connections. It's interesting. All right. Mm. High Priestesses on the bottom. Next three cards, please. Storyline. Let me try to 
let's see what's happening. Get advice. I am going to clarify as well with a separate deck. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. This did just flip while I was going through. Eight of Pentacles. So this is you. This is you working on something. Working on some new passion. Oh, the Hierophant. You guys are going to be right in the middle of your own spread. Um, the Hierophant, you could be... I mean, it's it's your energy, Taurus. Um, you could be getting really spiritual, really um, looking deeply at things. The Emperor. Uh, I do want to note it was like this. Um, I'm not really worried about reversals for these readings, but I do. I will let, take a close look at this emperor here. Um, Aries energy, but it could be it could be any sign. Um, you could be connected somehow. Um, let me see here. Three cards for advice. Ah, here's the high priestess using your intuition. Notice in this spread, she's looking back towards the past here, too. Whoa, okay. Death, which is uh, kind of reverse. So there could be a, a death or a rebirth of something, okay? Because death or, you know, either way, it's a rebirth. You know, whether it's upright, something dies, and then that's the opportunity for rebirth. Oh, geez. Two cars just flew out. Wow. Mother of Cups and the Hermit. I was only taking three for advice here, but we're taking these. <clears throat> Father of Wands is on the bottom, just saying. Um, so for advice, this High Priestess, she is being intuitive. She is trying to see what she can see, using her intuition, um, possibly about a death or a death reversed, so possibly a rebirth. All right, Mother of Cups. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be you, your emotions. And then here is the Hermit, okay? Um, so this is the card of Virgo. This is going within. But if this is your advice, I would say you're, you're really looking and using your intuition about a, a death or a rebirth your emotions, I mean, on either end, use your intuition, and then this is going within. Going within and shedding light on the dark things, the dark places. Let's clarify a little bit more. This is this Tarot, uh, tarot of the Mar Magical Forest. I'm going to shuffle, trying to shuffle quietly in case you guys are wearing headphones. <laughs> uh, okay. So, you know, Show me what I need to see for Taurus. Let's clarify this storyline a little bit. Make it clear for the highest good, please. Okay. <clears throat> Show me more about this Ace of Wands. Okay. okay, Six of Cups. You may have this passionate spark and uh, for someone of, in your past. Some deep uh, soul connection. In other words, you already know who this is. Mother of Pentacles was the next one I was asking. Yeah, you're looking at maybe taking a leap of faith, taking a new start, a new beginning. What about this Four of Pentacles? Wow. Yeah, Two of Wands. This is a decision in passion. And look, <clears throat> this is what I was saying. There's like, it's almost like there's two different connections with the two of wands. <clears throat> Let's look at this eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles, what, what's being worked on? Okay, two of pentacles. When I did catch it, it was reverse. So you might be trying to get your balance. You or somebody may have been juggling a lot of things. Whoa, okay. King of Wands, you might have been juggling, or a King of Wands may have been juggling you. This could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> what about the Hierophant? More about the Hierophant. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, somebody hurt you, Taurus. Or, or you hurt somebody. The rolls could be reversed. How it resonates, I believe it does not. What about this emperor? What about this emperor? Whoa. Wow. Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Both in the upright. So, this emperor. I, is this the King of Wands that caused you pain? Or is this somebody else? Hmm. All right, what's the advice about what, 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 tell me more about the high priestess, more for the advice, more high priestess. Okay, so you might be having nightmares, dreams, uh, maybe start keeping a dream journal. Whoa, wow. Yeah, justice just flew out and knight of wands. Um, so I was literally about to clarify death. Um... There might be some type of justice that's ha that has to happen, and uh, somebody uh, might be, I don't know, hmm, with the Knight of Wands, because I feel like it could be uh, passionate, but not in a good way, like justice, like, no, you know, passionate in a, listen, you, <laughs> we're not playing this. Um, because it's coming up under the death. What's this Mother of Cups? Eight of Cups. This is walking away or someone who has walked away. What about this Hermit? Whoa, okay. Yeah, you're you're being asked to look at what your wish fulfillment is and what's been deceptive. Okay? What is truly your wish fulfillment and and did, you got to look at these deceptions that have occurred. All right, your advice here is to use your intuition, pay attention to your dreams, maybe keep a dream journal. That's my suggestion, but I feel that your dreams may be important here with the Nine of Swords coming up. <clears throat> Things keeping you up at night. Um, the justice with the death. This is, you might have uh, cut something off. Either way, you know, with death as um, advice and also Eight of Cups as advice, you're being asked to really look at anything that has been toxic and has not been serving you to your highest good and to walk away from it. To go within is the hermit. Take a look at what, what is going on here, all right? Because, I mean, there's potential for happy family here, but someone is um, antsy. It could be you. It could be someone you're dealing with. Um, yeah, I will take a deeper look at this uh, in the further readings. For now, this is what I have for you, Taurus. Um, I hope to see you next time. As always, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it so, so much, and uh, Happy New Year. Bye.